So I'm doing some light web development here and I have a need to take this HTML select item, all of the values inside of it, which are all of the states in the USA, and transpose them into a JavaScript multi-dimensional array. I wanted to show you how easy this is with Ultra Edit. Uh, what looks like a very labor intensive or manual process, it can actually be done in a couple of quick steps. Now there are a couple ways I could do this. I could create a macro to run over this um, in the JavaScript file and format it the way I need, but I think um, the manual steps is actually going to be a little bit quicker. So what I'll do is I'll copy this data uh, and then in my JavaScript file, I am going to create the array and paste in the data. Now, the first thing I need to do is get rid of this orphan closing option HTML tag that's uh, on every other line. So I am going to select all of the data I pasted in here and hit Control R for replace. And for find what, it's going to be that closing option tag. Replace with, I'm going to leave empty. Select selected text for the replace target and hit replace all. Now you can see they're all gone, but I still have this empty line with some spaces. So in order to get rid of that, I'm gonna hit Control Shift P to bring up the command palette. And I'm gonna search for this delete all empty white space only lines. And because I have a selection, it's only gonna apply this to my selection. So now all my lines are gone. Now I can see I've got my data lined up in nice columns here. So I am going to go into column mode, Alt C, and I'm gonna hit Control Shift End. And to create a column or selection, I'll hit up arrow so I don't get that closing bracket for my array. And then I'll hit backspace and begin typing on each line the array that's inside the subarray that's inside of the larger array. So square bracket, single quote, and then I'll hit right arrow to come over to this double quote and this um, brace, this HTML brace, select those backspace, hit my single quote again, and then do a comma and space and another single quote for the second item in my, in each subarray. Now I need to close each of these with a closing square bracket and a comma. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go out of column mode and I've got my selection here. And actually I need to extend that down to there. And now I'm gonna hit a control R and do another replace in selected text. Now I'm gonna use regular expressions for this. I'm gonna set that option. And with regular expressions, we can use the dollar sign to represent the end of a line. So I'm going to search for the end of the line. This isn't the actual line terminators themselves. It's just a positional thing. So I'm matching this position. And on each line, I'm going to replace it with a single quote to terminate the string and then a closing bracket to close the subarray and then a comma. And I'll select selected text and hit replace all. Boom, I've got my multi-dimensional array. I accidentally selected too much down here. So I'll just backspace that and my semicolon. But as you can see, that's a very quick way to transpose data from one format to another with UltraEdit.